I studied extreme sports engineering at UWTSD. My project was uh, specifically based on the Internet of Things, wireless networks, and its use within uh, an educational environment, i.e. the classroom, lecture theatre. My major project, I did it with a company in Pantreston called Pig and Elmer. I was working in the optics department where we designed different mirrors. My dissertation looked into the effect of vibration transmission and how that will affect athletic performance. The benefit of this is it works for environmental reasons, sustainability, carbon footprint, energy usage. Electric vehicles is the largest growing segment of the automotive industry. So there are currently there's like exponential growth. I think it's 150% growth year on year. Um, which is far greater than anything, especially with diesel cars. So as more and more electric cars appear on the road, obviously there's going to be a higher necessity for charging stations, something which Wales currently lacks. No one has successfully built an electric hill climb car to be competitive, which we feel at the end of our project ours would be, because it's the results you're showing. In my project I developed an e-commerce website using ASP.NET web forms, and then I conducted various usability testing methods on multiple users. My dissertation looked into the effect of vibration transmission and how that will affect athletic performance. So pretty much what the aim was, to see the benefits of what coal bot mash could provide to concrete. The usability testing methods which I used was a heuristic evaluation, the, his the usability system scale survey, cognitive walkthrough, and retrospective think aloud, and lastly the heat maps which used an eye tracker. By studying civil engineering and environmental management, the two go in hand in hand, they're vital. Pretty much any sort of major project you would look in within engineering in the 21st century, it has the impact of the environment. Myself, I am now going off onto placement, I'm going to a company in Oxford, doing composite mould design and computational fluid dynamics for a year. Andrew Thorne helped me a lot. Um, he knows people in industry and managed to set up a meeting for me and from there I started off on a 10 week internship which turned into a year's internship which turned into a job. 